2011 started with history in the desert as many fans were snowed in back in Alabama. The Auburn Tigers melted away 53 years of frustration, winning the BCS National Championship game against Oregon. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, everybody hands go up. We got robbed in 83, we got robbed in 93, and we got robbed in 04. It's about time. Win the extra mile, do what we had to do, and we'll come out with a win. March Madness was sweet for the area basketball teams as Hillcrest, Pickens County, and Irwin brought home state titles. But perhaps none was sweeter than Winona coming from 18 points down in the title game, bringing the Dragons their first state title in almost 40 years. They just, you know, they sucked it up, man. You know, like I told them in the locker room, we, you can't save anything. It's the last day of basketball. So leave it on the court. They left it on the court. They gave me all they had, man, and, and we're going home happy. We couldn't get out of March without bubbles bursting all over the nation. One big pop was heard in Tuscaloosa as the Tide was left out of the NCAA field and sent to the NIT. And at UAB it was a different story as the Blazers made the field for the first time under head coach Mike Davis. It felt like a big uh, pound of weight just been lifted off my shoulders now that we, uh, we know that we made it. March Madness subsided with April sadness as the deadliest tornadoes in Alabama history swept through the state on the afternoon of April 27th. 243 people were killed across the state, 50 in Tuscaloosa County. In the days following the disaster, athletes from the University of Alabama, Auburn, and across the country converged on the state in an effort to rebuild and heal the communities. My home's in Alabama. No matter where I lay my head. It was a bittersweet moment the very next day in New York. Six Alabama and Auburn players were drafted in the first round of the NFL draft, including Auburn's Cam Newton, who was selected first overall. Nick Fairley went 13th to the Lions, while Marcel Darius, Julio Jones, Mark Ingram, and James Carpenter were all first round selections from Alabama. After a long summer of waiting and talking, college football finally went into expansion mode. The SEC added Texas A&M and Missouri to the league. They'll start play in 2012. It was a long wait for Auburn fans, but they finally got the best early Christmas present they could wish for. In October, Cam Newton and the university were officially cleared of any wrongdoing during his recruitment. Alabama rolled through the first two months of the season leading up to the November 5th game against LSU dubbed the game of the century. Number one versus number two. It didn't end in the way the Tide fans had hoped though with the Tigers winning 9-6. to six. But all was not lost as the Tide went on to win the remaining three games including a 42-14 victory in the Iron Bowl. Will 2012 begin the same way 2011 started, an Alabama team lifting the Crystal Trophy? Well, that became a possibility December 4th, when the Tide held on to their number two spot in the BCS standings. Oklahoma State almost jumped the Tide after beating Oklahoma, but in the end, despite a national uproar, the rematch with LSU was set. The Tide will play for the title in New Orleans. So amazing, it's amazing.